Welcome back. Now, this time we are going to do the pipeline. So what we're doing here is this part, but for the incremental load. And so it's going to be similar to the initial load that we did before, but the SQL is going to be different and the name is going to be different. So it's pretty much what we've done before, mostly. So if I go in here, create a name for this, import uh, in initial, uh, incremental. So we'll call it this, incremental load table one. The template I will use is the full copy, although even though it's going to be a sort of incremental load, I use the full copy and I just change the SQL because there's problems with using this one apparently. So then the password is for my RDS that I had before. Then I have to browse to the folder. Then let me just do something first because I had this, I've just done this before just to check that it works. So I need to delete this file. So the whole idea really is to Uh, come and delete, come and produce a file inside the incremental load in S3 here. So that's what we want to get to. <clears throat> we are using Honbucket 2, Table 1, and incremental load. So that's where we want to land the CSV that we of the data that we're pulling out from MySQL incremental load and the username is admin and the table is table 1 and all of this stuff you can just leave the instance is the instance of RDS is this one here called database 1 database dash 1 and then this one we want to do on a schedule. We want it to run every hour. And just start at those times. And then we want it to disable logging. Never ends. And then that's it I think and then edit hmm. do I want this no I don't just leave it as default and edit and then go into the data node here and this is where we set the SQL here, the query. And then I have one that I prepared earlier. Okay, so this, if you go back to this um, SQL here, 051, then I will also put this in the video down below. So if you're doing this for real, then you would probably do something like this. The date between now minus 10 days. So between this and now. So you would probably put in a date range like this. That's sort of uh, uh, changeable as the days, as the time goes by. But since we're doing this um, using a static date, I'm just going to use this. Create or equal to the 26th of April. So I'm going to copy this and put that in there. And then let's see what else is here. So in here you want to delete this and then get a file path and then sort of the file path that we want to add in here is 
the same as before here you want to put this here the output and then the name of the CSV file so another thing here to do is the other here in other we have something missing we need to put the database name and the database name if we look into dbeva the database is business there's this business database name so we type in here p u s i n e s s oops busyness there we go and everything looks as it should be so i just go to save and also activate as well so while that's activating actually it runs it once for the first time and then it puts it on a on a schedule so if you want to look at the progress you come here and you look at this drop down here then you'll see it's finished and it's waiting for some stuff so in this process it actually creates an instance of EC2 to run this on so that's why it actually takes quite a while to, for all these things to happen but the final thing that sh it should actually do is drop a file into here so that's what we're going to look for and I'm going to pause the recording for a little while because this bit takes really a long time and I'll come back when it's this part has finished so it will have gone green and then we'll have a look at SWS3 Okay, so it has gone through a few things, so that probably took about 5 or 10 minutes, or less than 10 minutes, so it's going through these things and it's shutting down now, I'll just refresh that, it's still shutting down, so it should have created a file in here, and it has done, and now I'm going to just have a look at this file. download it and just view it in a text as ed editor so we see it's the correct one so it's getting 6 to 10 so that's our incremental load that's great so now what I'll do is just delete that I'll leave that in S3 come back to here because there's something I want to show you when this actually shuts down so I might pause that recording while it's still shutting down <clears throat> okay now it's finished um, shutting down We've, I've refreshed this and then it's all shut down now so if you come back here one level then you'll see so it ran once but now you can see the scheduled state for this one that we just created is scheduled to run once every one hour so that's um that means it's still going to it's still sort of waiting so that's fine and that's exactly what we want so that's just to show you that when you set this up it runs it once and then it schedules it after that so thank you very much for watching